such voyages were the life's blood of the Republic. Navigational charts and maps were classified as state secrets. Ships sometimes left with sealed sailing orders, the crews embarking for an unknown destination more than a year away on the far side of the planet. These expeditions were not only commercial exploitations, although there was certainly plenty of that. Besides the usual appeals of ambition, greed, national pride, and the thirst for adventure, the Dutch were also motivated by a powerful scientific curiosity and a fascination with all things new. New lands, new peoples, new plants and animals. This building, then the Amsterdam Town Hall, still attests to the hardy self-assurance of its 17th century architects. Its lavish crystal adornments still reflect the glittering pride they felt in their accomplishments and their prosperity. It took shiploads of marble to build this place. Constantine Huygens, a poet and diplomat of the time, said that this town hall dispelled what he called the Gothic squint and squalor. The Middle Ages had ended. The Enlightenment had begun. Up there, do you see, is Atlas supporting the heavens on his shoulders. And beneath is Justice with a golden sword and golden scales flanked by death and punishment. And who is it that justice is trampling underfoot? Why, it's avarice and envy, the gods of the merchants. The Dutch knew that the unrestrained pursuit of profit posed serious threats to the soul of the nation. 